back to New York. What's up? We're back in New York. <laughs> Nah, I feel good because I've been um, you feel me? I've been in my bag all day, so now I can kind of like step out from where I was, take a deep breath, and I'm about to go get me some food. Uh, I'm about to go to my favorite donut spot, and I'm about to get like three donuts. I'm gonna go to one of these little spaces I've been finding on Instagram. When I tell you to eat, it's crazy, but it's my cheat day, so you feel me? I'm gonna indulge. I'm gonna go get three donuts from Donut World or Donut Pub, and then I'm gonna go try this uh, this chicken sandwich that I saw, and I'm probably gonna get like. A pita too, like a, a pita chicken and don't. That's smooth. I ain't even ate today. Yeah, I had a little protein smoothie earlier. Oh, um, but yeah, happy Saturday. Look, this is how you spend a cheat day. So I came to this spot. It's called uh, Tony's Chicken. I got their famous. Uh, it's like a, it's their famous fried chicken sandwich, and I got the hot honey lamb shawarma pita, and I got. I deserve a good cheat day. So that's what that's what I'm giving myself. So if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it great. I'm gonna do it well. I cannot wait. I can't even express how excited I am. I'll be back. I guess you started with this one. The fried chicken sandwich is gonna be another minute, all right? Okay. Yeah, so that's the hot honey lamb massage. Enjoy. That was a perfect timing too. Yeah. Oh my. Right? Me too. Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Bro, hold up. Look at this. This is, this is absolutely insane. All right, we're back. What's up, man? I'm excited for this week's vlog. Yo, what up, gang? Yeah. Y'all come get up my guy. Nothing but love. I can't lie. I ain't uh <laughs> I ain't let buddy cut my hair, but he cool as hell. <laughs> it's Monday, new week is here. I'm feeling good. I woke up and I went to Trader Joe's, got some groceries for the week. <sighs> Look, man, going to the grocery store for me is a trip because I gotta walk like it's honestly not that much, but it's so much more work than if I was in North Carolina and I just hopped in a car and went to the grocery store. I spent like 127 for the week. If you know how I eat, then that's great. It's like 20, $25 a day for a whole week's worth of food. And I'm talking like the most nutrient dense food that's gonna be used as fuel. Food that makes you feel good, look even better. Great cognitive ability, energy levels out the roof, great sleep, vitamins that I need, all that. A relevant thing for me has been consistency. Like consistency, when we're going after our goals is the most important thing, you feel me? Because I think a lot of the time we, we focus on the time. We're always like, yo, how much time is it going to take for me to, to reach what I'm going after, right? Like, how long is this going to take? We're always focused on the time that's passing by. But it's not even a time thing, right? It's not even about the time. It's about consistency and it's about those reps. Because when you're doing what you need to be doing and handling your business, you never know when that shit is going to manifest, I'm telling you. Like, and the way that the way that the world works, y'all know it's never on your time. And you may be expecting something, and it'll come way sooner or way later than you think. Um, you feel me? We always moving on God time. So it's just like, as long as you stay ready and you stay ready by being consistent, I promise you, you're gonna start collapsing time and shit is just gonna start popping up <laughs> crazy. So yeah, focus on the reps, don't focus on the time, just focus on building that muscle of being consistent. I'm telling you, discipline, discipline, discipline. Because this is the thing, right? This is what I already realized. We don't have a problem with being disciplined. The problem is we're disciplining the wrong things. That's the problem. We're, we're disciplining the wrong things. We're disciplining the wrong habits. I was listening to a podcast the other day. I took down, like when I listen to podcasts, so the way, this is one of the ways that I go about learning. I'll listen to podcasts or I'll listen, or excuse me, I'll read certain books. And whatever I agree with, whatever I believe, like I accept it, right? I accept it into my psyche. Um, I add it to my to my belief system, and I pretty much just like I take it and make it my own. So this is what I wrote down about discipline. So the greatest value of discipline is self worth, right? It ties directly to your self esteem. 
So people teach self-esteem, but they don't connect it to discipline, all right? Now, a lack of discipline erodes your psyche. When you know that you're not doing what you need to be doing, you know subconsciously, because you always know. Like, you know how sometimes we say, I don't know? I'll never forget, I said that to my stepmother one time, and she was like, don't say that, you know. And it's like, innately, morally, ethically, we always know what's right or wrong. So one of the greatest temptations is to just ease up a little bit. It's easy not to go as hard as you can. Honestly, it's not even that because we're all disciplined, right? By, by being human, we're creatures of habit. So it's just a matter of being disciplined in the right things, right? You can be disciplined in good habits or you can be disciplined in bad habits. It doesn't just affect the activity at hand, it affects your consciousness, right? And so, like I said, subconsciously, you know, it's kind of like, think about your, your adding up tallies and it's like, you got good disciplines and bad disciplines, right? The more tallies you have on the good side, it's gonna boost your confidence, right? The more you have on the bad side, subconsciously, it's gonna start fucking you up. So neglect starts an infection. And if it's not taken care of, it becomes a disease. And one neglect leads to another. So it's like, you kind of like, when you start to operate a certain way, it's like, if you start getting over or getting by on certain little tasks that you think are small and minuscule, I promise you it translates, right? Neglect diminishes our self-confidence, self-value, and our self-worth. So it's like, how do you get back your self-respect? Because self-respect comes from the confidence and knowing that you do the things that you need to be doing, right? Self-respect comes from being disciplined. It's like when you're doing the work in the dark, when you're getting a thousand reps in, when you put the work and time and dedication into whatever it is that you're, you're working towards, then it's like subconsciously, you have a certain type of cadence that you, you feel me, that you, that you go through life with. There's a certain type of swag and confidence that you can carry and embody because in the back of your head, you've already prepared for war. If you're going out to war and you don't have none of your stuff to fight war, you don't have a shield, you don't have a sword, you don't have no technique, you're going into war and you're like, you're looking at the people around you and you're real dependent on them. You're gonna be in the back, you feel me? You're not gonna be on the front line. And so how do you earn back your self-respect? Start with the smallest discipline that is in accordance with your own philosophy. So what does that mean? I could, I should, I will. You know what you can do and you decide not to. We know what we should do and we decide not to. So it's like, if you can do something and if you know you should do it, then I will do it. I won't do what I want, I'll do what's required, okay? Let me say that again. I won't do what I want, I will do what's required. Bro, this life shit is not about doing what you want. It's about doing what's required to get to where you want to be. Sacrifice, I promise you, it pays off in the end and what we have to do is compound. We have to, we have to make daily deposits and put deposits into that bank to accumulate compound interest for the person that we want to be. If you're not making deposits into yourself, into your health, into your mind, body, and soul, into your family, into your relationships, what do you think is, the, the bank account is empty, gang. The bank account is empty. You don't even have anything to pull from. Before you can go and help anybody else, you gotta help yourself. If there's considerable time that passes between the moment of awareness that you need to be doing something, and the moment that you put action behind what you know you should be doing, this is called procrastination. I know I have to do this assignment, but I'ma wait. I know I need to go do this, but I'ma wait. I, I was supposed to call so-and-so, but I'ma wait. Yo, I'm, procrastination, it kills a man. It kills a man, truly. And honestly, I, I developed a really bad habit of procrastinating during college. Honestly, all through school, that shit just translates. And then it translated over to life, and then I got to a certain point where I was like, oh, I don't even have a room. I can't afford to procrastinate, you feel me? Discipline bears fruit of achievement and contentment. You're gonna have a certain level of, of achievement because you've been disciplined, right? The seeds you plant will grow. You'll reap the benefits, right? Versus procrastination, which is the easy life, right? But in the future, you're not gonna bear any fruit and only branches of mediocrity, okay? So procrastination, it makes life easy right now, but long, like down the road, you're gonna have nothing to show from it. You may think that you're getting getting by or cheating life, you're just cheating yourself. Okay? The rewards of discipline are great, though you will not experience them until the future further than you can see. So what are we doing? We're delaying instant gratification. We're wanting to see the results now and it's like anything worth having is worth working for and all great things cannot be seen. Like in the winter, we plant the seeds and in the spring and summer is when shit actually comes to fruition. You feel me? It takes time. You gotta, you gotta water the seeds that, you, that you're sowing, right? You gotta water it and it takes time. Like I said, going back to just being consistent. 
you never know when something's going to manifest, right? But you always got to know that anything in the spiritual must manifest itself in the, in the physical, okay? Anything that you see in your head has the power to become a physical manifestation, right? The rewards of procrastination are immediate, but minor, okay? You're going to get the reward right now, but it's very minor. So people choose today's pleasure over tomorrow's fortune. How do you get rid of the distractions? How do you pick discipline or procrastination? You work on it daily. It's my TED talk. What's this? What you finna hit? Uh, this your PR? Yeah. All right, bet. How I many? How many we going for? Single, single. single, single. All right, bet. Let's go. Y'all know the vibes, what we say, last set, best set. This shit look good, feel better. That was that real work. I'm not gonna hold you. I hit a smooth, real calm, real calm, real calm. Little push day, targeting the chest. I see that. <laughs> the first time I was like, "Yo, I can move my chest." Gym was fire. I can't hold you though. I'm hungry now, so I'm about to get on a call with my client. Check in call real quick. Yo, bust down. Stop playing. Y'all know I'm on routine always. Rarely do I break character. It's so good, bro. I can't hold you. I never. I repeat, I never get tired of this. Y'all hear me always talking about how I don't really, I don't eat carbs a lot. But this right here is one of the best sources of carbs. What is this? 17 grams of carbs per serving. You definitely have more than one serving. I'm honestly just about to chill outside. I got a call in three minutes with my client. And so, I'm gonna just chop it up.
what am I here? Because I don't really feel like, I guess because I was just inside for the last like hour and a half. And so I'm going to knock this call out and then I'm going to go back into my regular everyday cafe and continue to work until it's time to eat. Actually, I have another call after that and then I'm going to go do what I need to do. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, y'all see, I got this. I got this Puma. On. I got a Puma casting today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, God willing, I book it. Casting is real smooth. I just came here literally try on some clothes. See how everything fit. You feel me? <laughs> no, I literally, I like I'm not here. Still do what you were gonna do. <laughs> you are funny. Now you have narration for your video. I'm on the way to get a fresh cut, a fresh one. Javi's about to bless the kid. Oh my gosh. So when I first got to New York, I had found an old head. He was, he was doing his job. I'm not gonna hold you. He was doing his job. But then I seen one of my other dogs and his fade was crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, his fade was crazy. So I'm like, yo, Desmond, tell me, come on, put me on, put me on. So I went to Javi, <laughs> Javi been blessed in kids. So this is like my third, I think it's my third haircut from him, maybe fourth, but uh, they're Dominican. They got the vibes in there, you know how they give it up. I like it, always working. <laughs> I like how you doing that. You know, you FaceTime with somebody and it's ringing, it's like, yeah, it better pay. Hey, what up, gang? What's up, man? That boy in the office. Yeah, so. Oh, man. Damn, what's going to be the determinant factor if you leave or not? You said what? 
I'm not even too pressed for tomorrow too, but I'm definitely down to pop out and see the Bobs. I got a haircut, so it's whatever. I got, I got errands to run. I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite time. Anytime I'm eating, it's my favorite thing to do. I got banana and apple. Second ones for the day. I got this. You know, we got the organic raw honey. Good carbs. Y'all ever had them days where it's like you kind of be sad or have low energy and you don't even have no reason to necessarily? That's how today's been for me. It's been a slow day. It's been a low energy day. Like I'm not even in a bad mood. It's just been kind of like a, it's just been kind of like a, ah, uh, you feel me? One of them type of days, which is odd also because it's been like, I got my nails done. I'll see that right there. Yeah. So yeah, when I got my nails done, um, I got a haircut yesterday. I posted a blog today, or I posted a YouTube video today. Um, you feel me? Check accomplished. I booked two shoots today. I did. I booked a shoot with Sprayground and y'all Nike. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. That shit's crazy. That shit's crazy. I gotta tell y'all the backstory on that. Um, but even still, like, as the day was going on, I'm just like, why do I feel like? I was excited, and I am excited, and I'm happy, and I'm grateful. But I was just kind of like, I don't know. It was just a slow day. If you like, if you know what I'm saying, comment below in the comments so I know I'm not crazy. Name of the spot, man. Mr. Mr. Throwback. Say it again. Mr. Throwback. Mr. Throwback. I'm about to put some crazy threads on. I'm out here with the guys. We're about to get a crazy shoot in. We don't strong. That's crazy, bro. Like we're just covering up so yeah, much heat, they can't even get the full extent. Yeah, yeah. You're just getting different different pieces or different parts of each piece. Sick, this jacket is tough. That's hard. I wanted to keep it, but it's like passing on me, and then I was like, all right, yeah. You like the Knicks? <laughs> all right, are you a Knicks fan? You really in New York with it? Yeah. Y'all see the vibes? All right, let's run it. Let's run it. Where? Good to see you. So my dog Miguel, he had this idea. He's we're shooting jackets on top of jackets on top of jackets. You see me right now, I'm full out, nicked out, yo. I got crazy threads on me, crazy threads on me. Shit's about to be fire. I'm telling you, anytime he hit me, I'm pulling up. Anytime he hit me, I'm pulling up. <laughs> Watch how these shits come out too. Watch. And you see, come on, man. Tell the Knicks put me courtside.